Good evening, hope you are doing well. Hollow Strife here, once again covering another update for Gears 5. So, yesterday, maybe two days ago, depending on when I upload this, there was a new update for Gears 5, just in time for the new Xbox Series X. Now, I'm not a console player, but these updates basically just make the game run at a higher resolution and with better frame rates for the new, more powerful consoles. However, there have also been a bunch of additions to the campaign as well as Gears Tactics, which I've covered a little bit on this channel, but I will just be covering Gears 5 changes in this video. I might do a separate one doing the ones for Gears Tactics, which will come out maybe one, two days after this one. Let's quickly go through this news bit that pops up as soon as you load up Gears 5. So obviously we can see that we've got news, campaign update, tactics, Esports Pro League and Operation 4, which Operation 4 has been there for a while. So covering the campaign update, New Game Plus is now a thing. You can experience the campaign with Batista instead of Marcus Phoenix. You can carry over your Jack progression. Mutators that change the way the game looks and plays, which I'll, again I'll cover all of those separately later on in the video. And you can now use your skins for like weapons and your characters in the campaign. They have also brought out Inconceivable and Iron Man difficulty. So I might try and do a run through of Inconceivable but I probably won't upload the whole thing. <laughs> um, in terms of Gears Tactics, oh, stay on it. If you complete the tutorial for Gears Tactics, which I think is the first two missions, uh, you will be able to unlock Gabe Diaz as a playable character in Gears 5. Um, this is going to cover all the things that have come with Gears Tactics, but again, I said I'll cover that in another video too, once two days after this video. So, if we go straight into the campaign and then go to New, I have had a little play around with the mutators beforehand. Let's just go there. Okay, so this is the campaign screen that we're all used to seeing. You have your difficulties, your playable characters. So intermediate, experienced and insane is what we've had so far, but they have added inconceivable as a difficulty. Now if we go into the options menu here, we can see campaign options Iron Man mode is already a thing. So in Iron Man you must restart the campaign if you die, just so toggle it on or off. Next you have customization which is Marcus as Batista, so basically select but if you want Dave Batista, put it on. If you just want Marcus Phoenix, keep it off. Multiplayer weapon skins on or off, and active squad members using multiplayer skills. So if I put both of these on and then go back, you can see that I've got the Lieutenant JD skin and Desert Dell with a multiplayer weapon skin. Can't remember the name of that one. Go down to Mutators. Now there's how many? I don't know. 15 different mutators. Big head mode, um, actually as I'm going through these like later on in the video I'll basically just show little clips of what each of the modifiers is um, and like their different settings so you've got big slash bobble head mode so you can have bouncing heads or just big head. Again active reloads change the ways your actives work, execution rules like we're used to in horde and escape so basically all enemies have to be executed. You can play as a swarm drone which again if you switch that one and then go back you start playing as a standard swarm drone. Bit weird and there's so many more here. Headshot explosion, uh, confetti or explosive damage, health regen, you've got regenerate while in cover only when dealing damage which is vampire, only when out of cover or the first two put together. Melee resistant juvies, enemy modifiers, what's this? Oh right, they deal different amounts of damage. Okay. And then you have low gravity death, so basically when you kill an enemy the body will just float in the air, which is quite cool. The amount of reserve ammo you can have, or you, whether you want enemies to be aggressive or not. Friendly fire, shielded enemies, voiced gun sounds. This is just all sound effects, but again I'm going to show that at the end of the video. Uh, Jack's cooldowns and different screen effects. I know there's loads of different ones of these. Some have already been covered by people I've seen already. Jeez, um, there we go, back to normal. 
The other thing I want to do is carry over jet progression. So if you select it to be on, it cannot be changed once the game has started. Would you like to override it save game? Go for it, yeah. But basically all the what are they called? The modules or whatever that levels jacks and abilities up. You get to keep them, even from the very beginning of the game. Well, at least when you first unlock Jack. So if you are struggling to find them, I do have a guide on my channel as to where all of the things are. I'll try and put a link in the top right hand side of the video so you can go straight to that. But that is the majority of this update covered. There's not much, it's just a campaign update. Again, I'm going to try some inconceivable. I might upload one or two videos just to basically show what difficulty is like. I know I haven't been uploading to this channel as often as I wanted. I did get a little bit bored of Gears 5 and Gears Tactics, so I stopped playing them for a little bit. But hopefully, Operation 4 is coming to an end as of next week, and there are some big changes to Horde Mode and other things come in with Operation 5 so hopefully that's going to be enough to bring me back to the game and I can start covering more content for you guys so if you do like to see that hit that subscribe button to see when I upload but for now I'll let the video run and show enough all the mutators that came with this update I'll see you next time guys When's the last time you slept? Last night I had a good eight or nine minutes in. Nightmares. Does it get better? It gets taller. Shit, Craven down! Let's get to the crash site! Craven's down. He passes through to Carmine. Jack, what I've been calling Flash. It flies. Shit, Craven down! Let's get to the crash site! Territory before. You still have it. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, uh, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Welcome to Vascar, home to the Union of Independent Republic Secret Space Program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying. Uh, excuse me liberating this glorious life. 